Hey everybody, it's July 7th, 2013. In this quick little video blog, I'm going to give you my top three web programming learning tips. Uh, so let's jump right to it. Number one, you want to jump into the code writing as soon as you possibly can. You don't want to get caught up reading too much theory or sitting around watching the videos forever. You should actually write code quickly. And I don't know, I, let's say you're a beginner, a total beginner to web design, web programming. That means writing HTML, CSS. Of course, if you know your HTML, CSS, that means you should be writing your server side code. Now, I assume most of you are going to be learning PHP. Uh, Ruby is also a very good alternative. And there's, of course, Java, etc. The two, though, I would suggest that you go after, by the way, is PHP or Ruby. Anyhow, whatever backend server side language you're going to be learning, PHP, etc., you should be writing the code as quickly as possible because, and this goes for JavaScript, another language you have to learn. Those are the four things you really have to learn HTML, CSS, PHP, JavaScript. These are the four that I recommend. And when you're learning these to become a web programmer or web developer, you should be writing code as quickly as possible. And the reason you want to start writing code as quickly as possible because you're not going to really develop a real understanding of code until you, you write it and you start making all kinds of mistakes. That's just the way it goes. You don't want to be a theoretical expert. And then when you sit in front of the keyboard and you actually try to write something, I guarantee you, you're going to be just lost. So just write code as quickly as possible. Another thing you should do, especially in early stages, is be very uh, careful to understand the basic concepts of code. So if you're into PHP, for instance, understand the basic mechanisms of the language. So, you know, variables, functions, and the subtleties of the language. Again, by doing the code and doing some good tutorials, you'll, uh, you'll get this. But a lot of people will want to skip over the basics, hoping that uh, things will come together, and then they get lost in the process. And many a times the mistakes that you run into is because of some lack of understanding in the basics. So be very careful about the basics and it will make your whole learning to program much easier uh, as you go forward. Finally, once you're comfortable with the basic concepts and you can write and read basic code, you want to start building little mini projects as quickly as possible. So for instance, you know, we do that in our course packages. You can have, uh, so for instance, we do this in our course packages. We teach like how to create a tag cloud in PHP or how to create a very simple shopping cart or even something as simple as CRUD operations. CRUD is short for create, write, update, and delete. This is basically interacting with a SQL database using PHP and being able to communicate between PHP and your SQL database. And usually the SQL database that you use is MySQL. So there you go. Those are my top three web programming learning tips. And uh, yeah, you know, one of the things I've been doing, I'm just going to close off here, a little off topic, is I, I've been really busy with other work, as I mentioned in a recent video. So you haven't been seeing any new updates, blog updates recently. You know, but we got a pretty big collection. I think it's over 600 videos that we put out on YouTube covering all kinds of subjects. And what we're always trying to do here, well, what I'm trying to do is, is concentrate on the key technologies, the key languages that every web programmer has to learn. Uh, we're in the PHP camp versus Ruby or others. Uh, for reasons that I won't get into here. So we concentrate on PHP as far as the server side, the server programming language. But beyond that, because we want to concentrate and refine what we do in terms of the, the, the core languages and core technologies and core techniques, you don't see too many videos on strange stuff uh, that, you rather, or that you're going to rarely use. And I think going forward, it's going to be consistent that way. Although, I may come out with some uh, some uh, more advanced stuff in in the terms of in terms of uh, PHP frameworks or something. I'm not sure, but anyway. So there you go. I just wanted to give you a quick update about what's going on on this YouTube channel, 
And uh, if you do like these type of video blogs or I'm giving these learning tips or business tips or whatnot, uh, comment in the video. Let me know. Vote me up. And I sort of look at how many views I'm getting on a video to decide in, in the comments. If I get a lot of comments, etc., I try to produce more videos of that, uh, of that type. You guys play a big role in determining what I'm going to cover. So uh, there you go, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.